You know, whenever I take on recipes from The Simpsons, they seem to do pretty good. There was the pink Simpsons donut and steamed hams. So what's next? The isotope dog? Flanders hot cocoa? Cob Kalash? Nope. The gummy Venus de Milo from season six, Homer Bad Man. Now, despite what the show would have you believe, you don't need to be a gummy artisan who works exclusively in the medium of gummy. But you are going to need a couple supplies. I'll leave links for them in the description. Now, let's begin. All right, before we get to the gummy, we gotta take care of the gummy mold. First, you'll need to grab a little miniature statue of the lady herself, Venus de Milo. I got this one off eBay. But uh, head to your local Goodwills first before you go to eBay. This is a pretty penny right here. Next, grab yourself a three inch by three inch square of foam board. And using a hot glue gun, dab a little glue at the center. Stick our little Venus de Milo on. Let the glue cool down. And remove any excess strings of hot glue. Next, grab yourself a disposable plastic cup. Make sure it's taller than the Venus de Milo. And using an X-Acto knife or a little blade like this, cut a nice round hole at the top. Okay, with the bottom cut out, place it on the foam board, making sure Precious Venus is in the center. And using the hot glue gun, glue and seal it down in place. All right, let's give this a good inspection. Make sure it's nice and airtight. Okay, with the glue hardened all nice and sealed up, let's get to work on the silicone. So, now, the last time I used molding silicone was way back in my giant chocolate coin video. And while the molding silicone I use is recommended for food, I'm going with a different brand. This set right here cost me 40. The set I used in my chocolate video, 200. Okay, bit of a correction. Um, it actually is $166, but by the time you factor in shipping and taxes, you're looking at 200. Also, this one's better because you don't need to use any complicated math. It uses a one-to-one -one ratio in order to cure. Grab yourself a plastic mixing container, like the kinds you find at Home Depot. So in this case, we're gonna need about eight ounces of part A, followed by eight ounces of part B. Now using something thin and wooden like a popsicle stick or unbroken chopsticks, mix the two silicones together. Oh, and another advantage this silicone has over the last one I used, it degasses itself, so you don't have to buy some super expensive gas chamber. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, vacuum chamber. This is a vacuum chamber. You don't need one of these to make it. A gas chamber is, um... Yeah, let's get back to the show. Just uh, let it sit for five minutes. Don't worry, this thing has a pot life of 30, you'll be fine. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes, our silicone has degassed. Now here's the key to pouring silicone. Let's make a nice, long, narrow pour to minimize any further bubbles. All right, next, let this thing cure. It can take five or so hours, but really uh, wait till the next day. Oh, just thinking about that sweet, sweet candy. Oh. Okay, once the silicone has hardened, out. let's carefully cut out our Venus. Something like this, a nice clamshell style. All right, let's put it back in a plastic cup. Band around the uh, top of the cup. All right, and it's ready for the jelly. All right, now we can get to the gummy. Now I'll be using Grant Thompson's gummy recipe for this. Oh, and uh, rest in peace, 
May you find joy in the RGB lit tool shed in the sky. Anyway, I'm gonna save you a click. This is the recipe right here. So grab half a cup of cold water, then pour in a quarter cup of light corn syrup. Mix the water and syrup together. Okay, it's fully dissolved. On to the next step. Grab yourself a small sauce spot and let's add one six ounce packet or two three ounce packets of green jello. Uh, this is all they had at the store when I was there. Then add two packets of plain unflavored gelatin. All right, mix all the dry ingredients together. All right, next add our water syrup mixture. This is important. Let the gelatin bloom for 10 minutes. As you can see, Grant Thompson already showed what happens if you don't let the gelatin bloom. So yeah, wait 10 minutes, let the gelatin bloom. Just thinking about her can. I just wish I had her sweet, 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 sweet can. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Our gelatin is nice and bloomed. Next up, the stove. So place your pot over medium low heat. Stir everything so it doesn't burn and keep stirring until everything is dissolved. All right, with our gummy syrup now nice and dissolved, let's pour it carefully into our mold. Okay, now let's set this aside so it can cool down. And once the gummy cools down and firms up, carefully demold Venus and behold, your very own gummy Venus de Milo. Oh, and uh, be careful when you make this because an actual real life gummy Venus de Milo is not as sturdy as the show would have you believe. I mean, look how wobbly her head is. And uh, if you think that's depressing, go back and watch the episode that inspired this recipe. I won't give too much away, but it's more politically relevant today than ever. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meeting it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and support me on Patreon. And once again, I beat binging with Babbage at his own game. Ball in your court, Andrew. Don't take that personally, I'd love to collab with you.